All together, inhale, bring hands to heart center. Sharing the pranava three times. Let's take a breath in. Oh. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And this is the tenth day uh, following the festival of Navatri. It's also called Dusra. It is where uh, in Hindu mythology, the, the good king defeated the bad king, so good old king. But let's still stay with the tantric goddess Durga. Oh, oh, she's also a Hindu goddess. And chant her mantra three times. Take a breath in. Om Jum Duraye Namaha Om Jum Duraye Namaha Om Jum Duraye Namaha And exhale, release the pose. And today, let's come onto our backs, head to knee, or knee to chest pose. And as you come into the pose, if it feels good, go ahead, roll from side to side. Check the position of your head and chin. Review the position of your shoulders, relax them, away from the ears. Just roll from side to side. And then all together into the center. Bring your hands to your left knee. And as you exhale, extend the right leg down the mat. Square off the hips. Hold this pose as you gently open up the left hips. Try and widen your shoulders down to the mat. Find a soft breath here. And counting down from eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's start warming up the core muscles as we lift or raise the right leg up towards the ceiling. So all together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, and raise that right leg up high. And then simply bend the right knee. And as you exhale, extend the left leg down the mat. Doing the opposite side now. Hold this pose. Do your best not to lose the integrity of those squared off hips. No matter how much you want to get that knee closer to the chest. Hold here for eight, seven, six. Now, even in these positions, it's important to think about lifting the arch and aligning the ankle to the knee to the hip. Okay, even when your, your legs are up in the air or wherever they are, don't lose that awareness. That will help keep the alignment correct within the joints, the proper muscles engaged, and let the energy flow. Four, three, two, one. Again, engaging the core to raise the left leg. Take a breath in. 
And so I can just write two lays that length are high. Release the right knee and extend the right leg to meet the left. Both feet are nice and looking up in the sky. Release the hands behind your head. Palms up. Nice little waterfall pose to start with. Now remember, if you have any pain in the lower back, bend the knees or put your hands underneath your butt or lower the legs a little bit. Let's just stay here for four, three, two, one. Release the hands behind your thighs or shift, depending on where you can reach better. And again, all together on an exhale, let's lift the head to the knees. So take your breath in, exhale, and try to feel that little tilt to engage the core. We lift the head up. And let's see if we can bring our head in our knees a little closer together. Go here. And that doesn't mean we lift our butt too hard, right? We're trying to bring the torso up. We're here for four. Three, Keep the head and the torso where it is. Release the hands to the sides, floating just next to the hips. Palms down. This is going to be a nice little leg lift. As you exhale, simply extend the legs down the mat until you can look right down your body at your toes. Legs are floating above the mat. Maybe you can lift up a little higher. Put your torso off the mat. Hold here. Four, three, two, one, and exhale. Release all the way down. Let's bring our feet into butterfly pose so the bottoms of your feet are touching one another. The heels close to the center of your body. Allow the knees to fall out to the Extend the arms up towards the sky and then behind your head, palms up. Review the position of your chin. And let's just go here. As we allow the joints to open up and the energy to flow, slow the breath and just follow the path of your breath for a nice slow count of eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Keep the feet on the mat, simply bring the knees up. Feet are on the mat, knees are touching one another. Let's extend the arms up to the sides, palms up. And we've done it before, coming into a spinal twist. But remember when we came to the spinal twist and we aligned our knees and our hips, and then we had movement of our arms to really deepen that twist. So let's come into position. As you exhale, contract and tilt and float the knees over the hips, lifting the feet off the mat. I'm going to go to the left first so that you can see what we're doing if you don't remember. So take a breath in, and as you exhale, go ahead and let the knees float to the left, and you also look left. And notice your knees, maybe they're stacked up on one another, maybe they're a couple inches one behind the other. So in order to square our hips, take that right hand that's behind you, lift it up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, take that right hand 
and bring it all the way down so that left and right palm are together as you look to the left. As you do that, you'll notice that you're rolling over your hip a little bit more, and now you can stack your knees up, and your hips are also stacked up. Our goal is to keep awareness of the squared arm hip as we open up the heart and chest up towards the sky. So take that right hand, palm down, slide it overhead, keep contact with the ground. And as you come to the back, that's when you start rolling over towards the right shoulder. But keep looking at your knees so you can still see them. Turn that right palm up and then slide it back into position for a spinal twist. Inhale, take that right hand once more, bring it back overhead. Turn the palm towards the mat and roll over the hip once more and bring the right hand to the left hand. Right, that's the movement that I'd like you to just play with right now as you feel different tension release through the hips, the back, the shoulders, and chest. All right, go ahead, keep going. Nice and slow, always inhale the arm up. Once you've done this a few times with movement, you can stop at the point where you feel the most resistance and just hold there and explore that sensation with your breath. As you try to relax and let go of the tension and that position. Some of you will feel it in the chest underneath the Armpit, others will feel it in the lower back, in the hips, sometimes in the neck. Stay here, keep playing with this. If you find that there is a place of particular tension, don't go there right away. Maybe go one or two inches above or below it and just try and stay there for a few soft breaths where you can relax before you come back to that point of extreme tension. You'll make more progress that way. And then all together, as you exhale, just come to wherever you're really comfortable. Even if you have to move your hips or your hand, let's just stay there for four, three, two, and one. All together, go to the other side, take a breath in, exhale, come back to and let's float the knee back to center. Now, the next exhale, go ahead, roll over to the right side. Keep looking at your knees. Inhale, take that left arm up toward the sky, roll over all the way to the opposite side. And then begin the exercise on this side. Taking that upper arm up overhead and then allowing it to swoop open behind you. And continue.
And as you do this, a nice helpful hint is keep extending the arm away from your body. So think of extending from the heart to the tip of your fingers and to move or hold in stillness that back arm. And that will help facilitate the lengthening. And let's all find a place where we feel nice and comfortable. And let's just hold that for four, three, two, and one. Coming back to center, take a breath in, exhale, control it to center. And once more, as you inhale, hands to knees, and exhale, knees to chest. It feels good rolling side to side or staying stillness. Let's all meet in the middle and come into happy baby pose, bringing the arms inside the knees, grab the big toes, and then open up into happy baby pose. Again, you choose if you like stillness or movement. So with the awareness of the shoulders, try to bring them away from the ears, even in this position. And then all together, meeting in the middle, and then you exhale coming to a nice straddle. And the same thing here, remember every time we're on our back, it's another opportunity to lengthen the spine. So we do our best not to lift our buttocks off the mat. You can even take one hand to the side of you and feel for your cow bone. Is your cow bone near the mat? Or is it up in the air? Hold here. Just like gravity helps you open up to the hips for four, three, two, one. Inhale, let's bring the legs together, feet are from the left side of the sky. Here's another good opportunity to really relax tension in the hips and let the buttons fall down to the ground, to the mat. And as you exhale, let's roll right into the back of the cat pose, arms in front of the high. And Coming into a nice straddle pose, seated straddle pose, get your blocks or your pillow in front of you. We're going to be holding these poses longer. Remember, we want to overcome that stretch reflex. So we'll be holding uh, for more than 90 seconds each position. So as you get started, remember you want to be on your sits bones. Look at your legs. You feel happy about the flexion in your ankle, your knee, your hip. You do not want to lose sight of lifting the arch of that foot. Remember a little attention on the big toe and the outer heel. <clears throat> That's going to maintain the position. Let's turn towards the left leg. Hands on either side of the left knee. Sit up nice and straight. Take a breath in. Coming down only halfway. As you exhale, come down halfway. You can rest on your block. And then stay here for one minute in stillness and quietness.
Gently as you exhale, let's come down another bit, do another 50% down. Let's stay here for two minutes. Slow the breath, slow the activity in the mind that's going to help you relax into the position. Exhale again, let's go into our full expression for the day for one minute. Very slowly inhale, come back to that halfway position. Hold that for one minute as we make our way up. Carefully with the help and support of your hands as you inhale, rise all the way up, face forward, and just sit here very quietly. And our opposite side, turn the torso to the right, do a quick review. You're happy with the position of your legs. Place your hands on either side of that right knee, take a breath in, and as you exhale, come down back. So this for a moment. If you're finding uh, problems keeping your mind focused, you can always chant. It's a nice chant to do out loud or inside your mind just to keep you focused.
And you want to exhale as you come down a little further, another 50% if you can, and hold for two minutes. So exhale again, let's come to our fullest expression today of the pose for one minute. Very carefully, inhale, come back to your halfway point. And let's hold this for one minute. And coming all the way upright, inhale, gently come up, face forward, and stay here in stillness. Turn the heart and stem, stem to the back. And then exhale, release. And before we do the forward fold, let's bring our legs into a cross legged position. Do a nice little seated spinal twist. So our legs are crossed. Left hand comes to the right knee, extend the right arm to the side, open up the right palm. Inhale the right arm up overhead, and then set those shoulders so they're nice and squared off first. Inhale, grow tall. As you exhale, find the twist from the waist, bring the shoulders back. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, release the right hand behind you. 
Shine the heart, extend the spine. And we stay here for a slow count of eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. You come out, turn the right palm up, inhale the right arm up behind you, and then as you exhale, come back to center and release both hands down. Take the right hand to the left knee, extend the left arm to the side, and put the palm up. Inhale the left arm up, let's roll the shoulders back. Sit up nice and straight, relax to the and hips, inhale for tall. As you exhale from the waist, find the twist to the left. Inhale, grow tall, and then exhale, place the left arm behind you. And hold here. Keep shining the heart, keeping left and right shoulder in line with one another. Counting down, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Open up the left palm, inhale the left arm up behind you. As you exhale, come back to center and release. All right, let's return to our wide straddle position. Bring your cushion or block in front of you. Again, once more, let's review your position. You're happy with your legs. All right, hands are in front of us. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, let's walk your fingers forward and come to a halfway position. And hold. Do your best not to let your knees roll inwards. As you exhale, slowly make your way another 50% down. Let's hold this for two minutes.
And exhale, let's come down to the full expression for one minute. Shall we inhale back to the nutrition? The one minute. And now we bow with your hands, inhale, and just come right back up. Find a nice position right here in your seated strata where you can close your eyes, relax the shoulders down, and just absorb what we just did. Feels good, right? All that nice little tingling going on. All right, as you exhale, go ahead, open your eyes. This time, take your left knee, just bend the left knee, bring the foot in towards the body. Take the right knee, bend it, and bring the right foot on the opposite side of your left knee. Another spinal twist in this position. What's important is to get that right buttocks down. Or you may want to put a, a pad underneath your butt or just your right buttocks. In this position, take your left hand, you hug your left knee towards your chest without lifting the buttocks up, without contorting your back. From here, take the left arm or right arm, extend it out to the side, open up the palm. Inhale the right arm up. Let's set those shoulders, sit up nice and straight, feel balanced evenly over your pelvis and buttocks. Inhale, grow tall. As you exhale, turn to the right, turn the waist. Hold here, set your position once more. Shine the heart, try not to round the shoulders. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, release the right hand behind you. Shine the heart without arching the back. And hold here. Slow, deep breaths. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one to come out, open up the right palm, inhale the arm up behind you. As you exhale, come back to center and release. All right, let's switch sides. Right leg is now down, left foot is on the opposite side. So find that you're nicely balanced on both butts. 
for me, that means that I actually have to really extend my right leg in front of me rather than having my knee bent. So there's all different ways you can adjust this. Take your right hand if you can, hug your right knee to your chest, or just hold it. What you want to make sure you have is a nice straight spine here. Left arm extended to the sides and open the palm. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale as well as shoulders up and back and set our posture. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, turn to the left from the waist. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, place the left arm behind you in your chest. Counting down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. To come out, open up to the left palm, inhale the left arm up. As you exhale, come back to center and release. All right, coming into Hanuman Asana, the splits. If you're not comfortable yet coming into the splits, you can, while we're doing it, you can do uh, Genesis Asana. Okay, you guys know that head to knee pose. If you want to come into the splits, just come onto our knees. And bring your block or your support that's going to help you. We'll uh, put the left leg forward first. So we're on our knees. Or if you're in Genesis Sufasana, um, head to knee pose, you can have your left leg extended and your right knee bent. Shift the weight to the right knee and step forward with the left. Then depending on where you need the support, it will be underneath the left thigh or it could even be closer to the, the right groin area, all right? Use your hands for support and as you exhale, just slide right down into your splits position. What we're aiming for here, and um, it's not easy, is to have our hip points squared off. We don't want it to be open. This right hip should be pointing down. And I have a nice flexion in the left ankle. All right, let's hold it. If you're in Jackson Sat now, let's hold also for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gently roll out any way you can from your splits. Come back to your knees. Jonathan Sassana, go ahead, change legs. So this time the right leg will be extended. So go ahead, if you're on your knees, step forward with the right leg. And then as you exhale, gently come down, find the plates, do your splits on this side. Take your turns. Remember, it's through relaxation, not forcing, that we find. This beautiful pose. And fold. Long exhale as we fold the pose, especially if you find it challenging. Four, eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and 
two, and one. Go ahead, roll out of it in any way you can. And let's come to our backs and knees to chest and just roll from side to side. All together, coming to the center and stillness. Happy baby pose. In stillness. Exhale, extend the knees into the nice straddle. Inhale, extend the legs up towards the sky. Right leg meets left leg. Take those shoulders, relax them down, relax the hips down, chin in a nice neutral position. As you exhale, roll right into Dandasana with arms extended up high. And exhale, release. Let's come into a nice supported uh, waterfall pose. So take your cushion or your block. Remember when we do this pose, it goes underneath uh, uh, your tailbone. Once you get in position, well, actually, if you're using a, a cushion, it's more at the lumbar position if you're using a block it's more at the between the towel bone and the lumbar but whatever it is that you're using to bring your legs up the wall never move your head from side to side once you're up and you should feel the tension on the top of the shoulders and the back of the head there should be no tension in the hips or the lower back all right and let's hold this position if you have a wall you can also just Put your legs up the wall. That's quite nice too. You can play around with the position of your arms where you feel a little bit more opening. Whether the opening is a sensation in the joints or in your breath movement. Just learning that awareness of where we feel open is a is progress in our yoga practice. Okay, from here, and I mean this really, really seriously. If you have a shoulder stand in your regular practice and you want to come up in the shoulder stand, go ahead. If not, it's a beautiful option to stay in the supported position. All right? So if it's in your usual practice, go ahead and come right into your nice shoulder stand. This is known as Salam Bak. Salam. Salangam, oh my gosh, I can't even say it. Salangvasana, which means all body point benefit pose. So it's a lovely pose to, to practice. And when you're like in a yoga therapy uh, program, you can hold this for five minutes, 10 minutes to get the therapeutic benefits. We won't hold it that long. Even one minute is quite therapeutic. Okay. 
And again, very seriously, for those who are used to doing the plow pose, if you'd like, go ahead, one leg and then the other, bring them down behind your head. With our ankles flexed, and you can come into plow pose. If it feels good, you can hang out there for a while. Changes the pressure uh, in the neck, now the shoulders a little bit. Causes the more curvature of the spine or end. So let's hold this pose for a count of eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And what now? Before we come out, especially if you have a picture of block behind you, you need to be very careful that it's still behind you. So let's bend both knees first. Start to round the back, reach for that block or whatever was behind you, and then gently lower yourself back down again. And right back to our nice supported waterfall pose. That's nice. Thank you. And once more, to safely come out, bend your knees, keep your hands on your cushion. Feel that your elbows, the back of your arm is on the mat. And then as you exhale, tuck the chin and just sit up right over your cushion. Let's you move. Our props and lay down on the mat, on our backs. For those of you who are ready to come into Savasana, go ahead. If you feel you need to do a little spinal twist first, go ahead. Otherwise, we'll all meet in Savasana.
gently coming out of all this asana, let's bring our hands to our belly and just change that mental focus now to following the track of all the breath. And then expand that awareness as we bring movement to the toes and ankles. Knees and hips. Fingers, wrists. Elbows and shoulders. Spine and the chest as we roll from side to side. And then all together, rolling to one side, just staying here for a few breaths, enjoy the tranquility. Just enjoy, enjoying and being aware of the nice free flow of energy as our muscles and our joints are nicely lubricated now. And then with the help of your hands as you exhale, push up in a nice seated position. Bring your hands into the mudra. Even coming into this seated position, nothing is done mechanically. It's all very, we're all very mindfully aware as we bring our feet into position. Feel the sits bones, extend the spine, shine the heart. Gently bring our hands to the chin mudra and just be aware of that touch. And then maybe we find the awareness of what is suddenly happening as we come into the chin mudra. Eyes are closed. Slow the breath once more. Follow the track of your breath. All together, inhale, hands to heart center. Share in the pranava one time. Take a breath in. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Exhale, bowing down to the teacher with me. And inhale, gently coming up. Let's open our eyes. We're back into full awareness, ready for the day. Namaste. Thank you, friends. See you tomorrow.